Toad, you're so good. Called it. The kick is away. We got a little Chiefs on Chiefs action. Codastic, I believe, is in the red uniforms. Anarchy is going to be in the in the non-red uniforms. Yeah, so Codastic. Mirror match. If it's right, Codastic's on the right, so he's the home team. So that means he has the ball right now. So Codastic, like you said, red uniforms with the ball. Anarchy in the white. Win, you have a chance to get in. Lose, you got no chance. Enjoy the rest of Dream Hack. This is a big, big game here in the early group stages. Uh, now I'm nervous because I, I see the, pis the pistol formation and I know that that's Anarchy's go to. If I'm Anarchy, boy, if you can use that middle linebacker, he had some trouble with that in game one. Hand off to Williams, right side. Nowhere to go, and an early third down opportunity. Guys, remember, keep track of the brackets and standings. You can find it at dh.je slash Madden Dallas. Brackets, standings, results. Keep track of what's going on here at DreamHack. Third and eight, Kotastic, dropping back to pass, waiting. Nobody's open, trying to playmaker up the field. That's overthrown, oh. that's picked off, and Anarchy gets the first turnover, but if there's a little bright side for Kotastic, that one basically an arm punt down the field. At least it wasn't an interception underneath. But you know, Kotastic's gonna try to stay locked in for something defensively against Anarchy. I like this, this eye close formation, really nice. You could run a dive, you could run a stretch. You got some plays where you can get your receiver on a quick post route over the middle, your tight end on a corner route. Really nice formation. Good. Shooting the gap there by Kotastic. Able to get the backfield, stop him for a two yard loss. Now second and 12. It's Anarchy with the ball, Patty Mahomes in the shotgun. Three wide receivers and one tight end. He's got Williams on his right hip, motioning Kelsey to the left side. Mahomes. He'll just take the underneath route and finds Chris Conley down to the 40-yard line. Give him seven. $25,000 prize pool here at DreamHack. 12-5 to the winner. 7-5 to second place. Third and fourth take home 2,500 bucks. Some real money on the line. You can tell, talking with the players beforehand. They're amped for this. They want, they want to take home the last check here of the Madden 19 cycle. Mahomes. Nice. The corner God. route. Nice. Watkins. Misplay defensively. Walk into the end zone. Sammy Sweet, me, Watkins. Oh, was a touchdown. That was a nice play right there by Ar Anarchy. And the gun tight offset. Uh, you know, he's got a two by two. He motions over one of the receivers, gives it a bunch type of look, gets that deep corner route down the field. Very, very nice pass play dialed up right there by Anarchy. If you're Kotastic, that's one of those plays where maybe a little overzealous defensively, going for the pick there instead of maybe trying to play the body or go for a swat, and he misses, and that ends up in the end zone. Yeah, nobody ever plays receiver. And you know what? Once you're beat, like, you know that you can't get to the ball and he's going to catch it, play receiver really is the best thing to do because all your defender's going to try to do is make contact with the player after he catches the ball to give you a chance to at least make a tackle and maybe even knock the ball out, but... Nobody ever willing to use that mechanic. And you know what? I don't blame him. When the ball's in the air, your first natural instinct is to go for the interception. The turnover, right. But sometimes that's what will separate the men from the boys when a player does have the awareness to concede, I'm not going to get to this, and I am going to use the mechanic that I should. They're coming. They're coming. So that's a, that's a, a tip from the dev. He knows the game. And now another third down. Last time we saw a third down for Kotastic, he threw a pick. Can he get something going here on third and 13? Mahomes. Oh, that's a, that's a screamer off the edge. Steve Ford with the sack. Fourth and long. You gotta think a punt's coming. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a tough game for Kotastic. Like I said, Anarchy has, uh, he has experience. Uh, he's been competing in the MCS. He hasn't made a live event yet, but he's made some good runs. We've seen him in online elimination. We've seen him at challenger events. 
And, they, you know, he's proven himself that he can hang with top players. Even though the Beast Mode Mac game didn't go as planned, he showed spurts in that game that showed he was able to compete with Beast Mode. So, yeah, right, he's right. definitely the favorite going into this game against Kotastic. First down at 10. Hand off to Williams right up the middle. Pick up a couple. Cut it to a second and seven. And Anarchy trying to get the hurry up offense. Even Kotastic on his heels. Another run for Williams. Going for the strip. Can't pry that ball free. Third down. My guy Cream in the chat, he said, RG, the play receiver doesn't work because you just get sucked into an ag catch. And what I'm saying is you only use it when you know he's going to ag catch you anyway. So give yourself a chance to at least knock the ball out after he comes down with the catch. I'm not saying it's the go-to mechanic. But if you're already beat, I mean, it's better than giving up a touchdown. It's the mechanic to use once you realize you're already beat. The problem is most players uh, not willing to admit that they're Ooh. already beat when the ball is there. That's nasty. Spin That's move nasty. into the end zone, spinning and willing, win it. How about that? That's nasty right there. Yeah, Anarchy with a two-score lead. Yeah, he's getting it in right now. And make sure that you guys, uh, you know, let your friends know. Let your family know. All, all know to tune in here. Twitch.tv slash DreamHack Madden. First ever Madden tournament at DreamHack. Yeah, we got people out Already watching. Already GG's in the chat. <laughs> Have some of the, you know, people back at home at the, the studio in Tiburon watching some of our development team. They've been working really hard on Madden 20, but... Hey! They like to tune in and watch these events as well. So big shout out to those guys. I know they're working real hard on this Friday and probably working the weekends. Just watching those guys grind out, getting ready to get released as Madden 20. So, you know, again, huge shout out to all my family back there at Tiburon. Miss you guys. Kotastic with the ball down 14, trying to get something going offensively. I do got to shout out one of my uh, engineers that I work with back there, uh, Brett Skipoff. This guy's one of the best engineers I know. And it's been a long time coming since I've given him a shout out on the stream. So my guy Brett, if you're watching, man, sh shout out, brother. Second and seven, looking down the middle of the field. Almost picked off. Now a third and seven. This game has been all anarchy early. I'll tell you one thing about Brett Skipoff. Not only is he a phenomenal engineer, he will whoop you if you try to play him in Super Smash Brothers. Oh, he's, he's, a, he's the he's, Tiburon Smash Brothers god. Like original Smash Bros? We're talking No, no, we've been playing Brawl? the one on the, um, the new one. Oh, the new one. On the, the newer on the one. Yeah, yeah, we play that on our break sometimes. And Man, he's a problem, dude. There's Pikachu and then there's Mewtwo. And, I use snake every time. I get snake? I get bodied. Snake? Snake. They, as the kids say, they try to tell me, they say, gee, snake is not it. But I'm stubborn. Come on. Oh, he's gonna try to pick this up. Nice throw underneath. Alright, Kotastic. I'm a I'm a because I look like him, I'm a big King D to D fan. <laughs> yep. First and ten. So maybe we'll see one more snap before the end of the quarter. Kotastic play action. This heat's getting home, but maybe a little bit of rhythm now for Kotastic as he finds Watkins down the field. End of the first. It's 14 0 Anarchy. Nice play right there from Kotastic. Gun tray open, little play action. Finds the post route up the seam. There you go. And he cash in from 24 yards out. Pressure up the middle, just gets rid of it. Bad throw, picked off. Anarchy's defense forcing turnovers, and Nelson's got some room. Can they make a play? Ew. Big block down the field. 30, 20, 10, put it on the board. 20 to nothing, Anarchy flexing on him. We need a game, Nick. <laughs> I just want one. Can we, can we create some, some serious Joe Rice magic? The drag strafing, the mo cleft. It's the type of magic we're looking for. Caleb to Messiah saying, get the floaties out. It's early. It's group stage. We got three days of Madden football. And you see, when you made your pick, you just said anarchy. I said anarchy with 
For minus 10. 10. I, 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 he doubled down. And I usually don't like making picks. When they told me we were going to be making picks, I said, you know, I, I don't usually do that. But they're giving me layups. How early do you think uh, one of these guys turns on two o'clock? Second half? The problem is I, I think the, with both of them being one-on-one, -on -one, one and one at least if you're anarchy, you're probably going to try to get as many points as you can just in case, you know, the, the, point, the net point differential comes into play. Fitz Magic in the chat. What's going on, Fitz? Good to see you. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, Fitz Magic, man. We're playing some... Uh, Actually, no, he wasn't on there. I played some team up with all those guys the other day. Didn't go well. 30-13. Somebody just got really pumped. The crowd goes wild for that Cotastic angle route for a first down. Uh, I, that's what's kind of cool about casting this in, in DreamHack. I, I don't think they, they can hear it on the broadcast, but Every now and then, we just hear these huge crowd roars from something that's probably going on in either Rocket League or CSGO, but, uh -oh. man, they're getting into uh -oh. it out here. Oh, uh -oh. gee. Uh-oh. Ruh-ruh, uh -oh. Raggy. I'll tell you what. If, if we do Dream... When we, when we do DreamHack again, because obviously this is a, a beautiful partnership, something, you know, what we're obviously very proud to be a part of, we definitely got to go to the drawing board on what is the protocol when these games start to get out of hand. Yeah, it's a little bit of a difference from throughout the MCS season. You'll see guys, you know, tap out third quarter. But when you make a tiebreaker about, you know, net points, it, it, it means a lot of these guys are going to try to pour it on at the end. Yeah. Even at the MCS, I've been guilty of just yelling at our producers, probably completely out of line when I do it. But when I'm not feeling the game that's on screen, I'm on my talk back button, like, give me the other game. Give me the hey, other hey, game. Hey, hey, hey. I don't got that much pull here. First ever Madden tournament hosted by DreamHack. 96 competitors. 24 groups of four, top two, make it out of each group, second to 10. Hit as he threw, coming back to the ball. Good defense. But it's already 21 nothing. And now third and 10. Looks like Anarchy's gonna run a little toss play to Williams, right side, tries to spin inside. Good patience by Kotastic to stay home. See them in the chat. A little Madden 20 talk in the chat, Nick. Talk about the information we released in the blog where uh, the linebackers aren't going to be as good as lurking anymore. Out there in Madden 20, all those jump catches. Oh, fan. Guys have been dealing with. Right up the seam. Woo! Woo! It, it, is, it is refreshing, I will say. I, I, I've been playing the game. And to be able to throw passes for your receivers. 12 yards behind the defender, and the defender can't, you know, pick it off. Pick it off three yards from the line of scrimmage. It's a, it's a really nice feeling. It definitely opens some things up for you. You don't get, you feel like, you, you know, you don't get punished for making a good read. So that, that's definitely very refreshing. Yeah, they're in the chat. That's another thing to talk about. Would you prefer double elimination tournaments or group play? It's interesting. That's a good question. I wonder where these guys are from. I, I assume Anarchy's got to be from somewhere out here in Texas. I, I mean, I saw him in El Paso that one time. Sure. Uh, you know, he's here, so he's got to be a Texas guy. I have no idea. Here we go now. Blue 45. Blue 45. About Cotastic, though. Third and 27. Why not pick up a couple underneath? Six of 11, 83 yards and three interceptions. It's a, that's a brutal stat line. I'll tell you what, Nick. I, I, I don't want to downgrade group play or whatever, but I can't wait until we get into some single elimination game starting tomorrow. I mean, you're not going to want to miss any of that. I, I mean, some of this, you know, these group play games could feel a little bit underwhelming as 
Another interception from Kotasnik. Once we get the Ooh. single elimination and... Ooh, who made that hit? These guys have the last chance, like we talked about, to profit off of Madden 19 in a big way. Uh, you're going to start seeing some big games. When you start seeing guys like Clef and Madster match up, or the Clef, Beast Mode Max, and, you know, like we said, we have a long list of quality players that we know of for here at this tournament, so... Definitely expecting to see some some really good matchups. I think the benefit of group play you get into is you get the strongest single elimination field you can get. And, and I think that's where in, that's in a double elim, you, you mitigate some of that, but anything can happen in one game of Madden. We've seen great players lose questionable games, but at the end of the day, group play, make sure that the day two and day three, we're gonna have a real strong field. Yeah, that's a really good point, Nick. I, I couldn't agree with that more. I, I, I can't I can't wait to see how it plays out, man. It is going to be some tough, tough matchups going down. And you know what? Even in these group plays, I do enjoy seeing new faces. I don't want to, like, knock it like I don't enjoy seeing the new faces. You just wish that they would... Uh, you're looking for them to really perform. You, you know what I mean? You're looking for that next big thing. And sometimes, you know, in that process, you'll end up with these 21 nothing games. Here's what I'll give group play. I, I, if you watch the, let's take the, the Madden Bowl, for instance. The joy of group play was, I don't know how many people prior to the Madden Bowl, because that's a pass over the top. That's Sammy Watkins walking to the end zone, extending the lead. I don't know how many people would have had Lil Man coming out of that group. I don't know how many people would have had Spoto coming out of his group. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is yeah, called, yeah. if you're playing well, get out of the group. If you're not playing well, you're, you're going to lose some games, and that happens, but we're still early here at DreamHack. We, you can still see some surprises coming out of groups because they're playing well. Yeah, that, you're right, though. At the Madden Bowl, like, nobody had Spoto getting out of his group. He said he hadn't been playing much. Uh, you know, there was talk on the streets of him being the sweet game, and sure enough, you know, he made it all top the way two. to the top two championship game. Little man ended up top four. What did Spoto make? What did Spoto make, like, 30K for... Uh, Losing in that final game, which... Man, 20. I think 20K 20 K right, be, right before he graduated high school? I mean, that, that's a nice little come up. Well, and then how about how about our Madden Challenge Belt winner? How many guys had Kratobin coming out of his group? And oh, not only coming God. out of his group, he goes and wins a final over the Madden Bowl champion, Drini. Exactly. And Kratobin was just a great story of, you know, someone that just came out of nowhere and has immediately made a name for himself. And that, that's what you're looking for. That's what you love to see. Those are the guys I'm looking to burst onto the scene. We're always out here looking for the next big thing. TJ the Thurston in the chat saying, got to go for the Florida boys, Clef, Matster, and Blocky. It's a good group. That's a good group. A good group. Florida's got some Madden gamers. Is there anybody in the chat that we could expect to see in the MCS next year? Make your predictions. Tell me what club you plan on signing up for and which one you're going to win. Maybe I'll remember. Okay, you got four. You got four. But I will say, you know, I know you get some clunkers of games, but I, I think it's just part of the product of at the end of the day. That's, that's what happens in an open tournament. I think having open tournaments is great for the community because you get some people to come out here who love the game of Madden. You don't have to have been a top player. You can come out, play some Madden for a day. Hey, you, you lose some games, but you at least got to experience the game that you like. And that's the joy of open tournaments. It shows how many people love this game. Yeah, absolutely. We all can share, we all share the same passion. We got some of my guys, Lucky saying he's going to be the next Florida player next year. He's going to be Clef in the Bucks champion he's calling for. All right, all right. My guy, Mile High Dan, saying he's going for the Denver club. All right. I remember those names. XLF Monkey in the chat saying J Wall is winning in Dallas. J Wall has had a, a, a really, I think if you look at the years of players who maybe didn't have the commercial success in MCS but have had success in other tournaments, look at guys like J Wall, guys like D Croft. Th those, are, those are some of those players you see in the Friday night footballs, you see making some noise in the clubs, and J Wall certainly could make a run. He, he of course, knocked off Skimbo in the Patriots Club Championship. Yeah, absolutely. And you. A guy like uh, Decroft as well. I mean, oh man, a blocked kick by Anarchy. This is getting ugly. It's, it's, it's already ugly. It's already ugly. Turn it's not getting ugly. Out. It's continually ugly. It's like it's me in high school. Ugly. But a guy like Decroft too. I mean, before he even started making runs in these Friday night tournaments, his first thing was making that Seattle Seahawks club event where he went down to Kiv, but he showed some very impressive stick work 
Um, and, you know, people have been watching him ever since, and that's opened up opportunities for him to be a part of those Friday night uh, Mudhead tournaments. And, you know, he had that highlight video he put on Twitter where we were showing off his stick work. I think Ooh. that thing hit, like, 100,000 views or something. So And it was some good stick work. Yeah, there's definitely guys we've seen this year that they came into the year, we didn't know who they were, we didn't expect them to do things, and now, you know, they're ho household names within our Madden community, and we're really looking forward to seeing what they do, you know, next year and for years to come, especially young players like Jay Wall and Decroft, who, you know, in Madden years, they, they still have plenty of time left. Taking a look through, uh, you can find all the brackets and standings at dh.je slash Madden Dallas. Actually on there right now, taking a look at some of the results from other groups. Group F. Two guys who made it out of there. Two guys we've heard before. Clef the God goes 3-0 in group. Free the Penguins goes 2-1. Oh, my God. Penguins is out here, too. I didn't yeah. even realize Penguins was here. Yeah, we saw Free the Penguins in the last chance qualifier. Just missed out on the Madden Bowl. Group E, Prodigy and Sauce making it out. Sauce? What, with a name like Sauce, you better be bringing the heat. My guy, the underrated king in the chat. That's the Falcons. I believe the Falcons uh, defending club champion. Group B, VY Electrify and Bookman Smarts making it out of groups. Bookman Smarts, that's Vinny. And then Group A, Nando and Blocky making it out. Nice. Block, I mean, Blocky, no surprise at all, right? Blocky went two and one in groups. He lost his game to Nando. Oh, oh man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Poor, oh my gosh. Somebody, can we get Kotastic a hug or something? Poor Kotastic, man. Someone give my dude a hug. Look at him. Real, he's just dude. laughing about it now. He knows he's going through it, man. He had a chance. He finally gets the lark set up, and look at this. The ball just goes right over his head and falls into the hands of Anarchy's receiver. Ace, ace. When it rains, it pours in Madden football. Drini talking some mad trash on, on Bugsy. Oh, Bugsy, man. They're always, they're, always, they're always coming at my guy. You know what? Bugs got some credentials, dude. 35 zip. Hey, hold on. It's 34 zip. Oh, my bad, dog. So hold on right there. Yo, I'm sorry, okay. dog. Yeah, okay, it's 35 zip. You're right. No, that's fair. Tough but fair. Another. Look at Zan in the chance, spamming his bugs, uh, little bugs emojis, <laughs> What's up, Zan? man. That's what I'm talking. That's a nice emoji right there with the bugs yeah, in. It's, it's clutch. Uh, bugs is like, to me, he really is an inspiration. Though he, he's a guy that he's got the full. He's got a family. He's got a ton of responsibilities. He's older, and yet he finds a way to make it back to event after event. And he's also just never complaining about anything. This is a guy, Books, who just kind of shows up. You know, he holds himself accountable for, you know, all of his actions or whatever happens on the sticks. And, you know, he's just a, a great ambassador and truly someone that leads by example and someone that we're very fortunate to have. And he's also, in the community. Uh, you know, apart from his playing career, he's also continuing to do Friday Night Football. He calls those yes. games. And he's one of the biggest advocates for for the guys out there to show up to things like Friday Night Football, to DreamHack, to all these non-MCS stuff to help grow that game. He's one of the biggest proponents of growing the game with competitive men. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what we need, man. We're, we're not going to continue to grow this thing ourselves. It, it, it's going to be, uh, it's not just all on EA. You know, it's, it's a community thing. We need to, you know, continue to show support, continue to view in, continue to go to tournaments and throw tournaments and, you know, together, the, the, the sky is the limit when it comes to Madden and eSports, and that's why I just feel so honored and privileged uh, to be a part of it. And I'm also very excited for all this, these young, talented players and the opportunities that they're going to get and continue to get. It's just going to get bigger and better, and I, I truly believe that. Nick Mazesco, RG, Rico Williams, hanging out with you. DreamHack's first ever Madden tournament here at Madden 19. Last day of May, $25,000 prize pool. And we're so happy to have you along with us all three days. I feel like we we need to start having a rule. When, when the game gets started getting out of hand, like 17, uh, 21 points, three possessions. 35. Rico needs to come back up to the desk. Because one thing about my guy Rico, he's a lot of fun to shoot the breeze with. Oh, yeah. You, you, you can talk with Rico all day long, have, have a good time. 
Instead, he just leaves us here on the desk, 35 nothing. I'm hoping he's working on some breaking news or something. We're holding the floaties right now, Nick. We're doing the doggy paddle. We're struggling over here. We, we need Rico in the lifeboat. He's over there splooshing burritos, drinking monsters. He's having way too much fun. He swags, man. He swags. Rico, if there's one thing Rico Williams knows how to do, it's how to party. Oh, he, yeah. he knows how to have a good time. We need to get a Rico emoji, by the way. I, I need a Rico emote in chat. He, he would be so proud. I don't know if anybody would be prouder about having an emoji of themselves than Rico would. Lucky the chat says Rico went to Chipotle. He obviously doesn't know Rico. Rico sent somebody to Chipotle. Yeah, Rico, Rico doesn't pick up his own burrito. He's got people who do that. God bless Rico, man. He's been a part of the community forever. I mean, this is the guy that was casting the tournaments back when I was playing back in Madden 06, Madden 05, 07, 08. And he's playing hurt. He cut off part of his finger. He is playing, he is playing with an injured finger. He is casting with an injured finger. Blitz, blitz. 35 nothing. It's been all anarchy. I think Gotastic is now up over 80 points given up in the last two games. Let me do this. Let's interact with the chat. It's always fun interacting with the chat. Chat, who are some of your guys' predictions? Let me see it in the chat. For teams that you think are going to be the meta in Madden 20, what teams do you guys expect to be the Madden 20 goons? Obviously, this year we got the Chiefs. It's, the Chiefs are the goons. Chiefs, Falcons who, are pretty popular. Who do you guys got next year? What, what, what team are you rocking with on Madden 20? A lot of Browns. Look at that. The, the Browns, Browns are, are flying. You know, I love my brownies. The Colts, the Niners. It's all Ravens. Ravens are going to be tough. Hollywood, Brown, and Lamar Jackson. That's a lot of speed on offense. Uh, a lot of Browns love. And you know what? I don't blame them. The I, Browns got, what, Chubb? Kareem Hunt at running back, Mayfield, and Joku, Odell, Landry, Callaway. And then the best defensive line of football. Miles Garrett, Sheldon Richardson, Olivier Vernon. I mean, yeah, they got Vernon. Larry Ogunjobi. Yeah, they got Vernon. Might be picking up Joe McCoy. I think they got rid of Ogunjobi. I thought they got rid of him, but they, yeah, they got Miles Garrett. Um, Denzel Ward's obviously a freak out there. It's one of the best corners. Just drafted Greedy Williams out of LSU. Some Cardinals, maybe a little. Uh, Kyler. Little Kyler Murray. A Kyler action. Is there a way to see the entire bracket? The dh.je slash Madden Dallas. My guy, Head Honcho, that, that's a good team right there. The Cowboys are a sleeper, Nick. You got Lawrence on the D line. At linebacker, you get Van Der Esch and Jalen Smith. Byron Jones at the cornerback position. Uh, Anthony Brown, the speedster. Shadobi Awuzi. That's speed. And then on offense, you got, I think, Tavon Austin, Amari Cooper. You know, Dak can move. Obviously, Zeke, the best old line. The Cowboys are a sleeper team. Yeah, they're, they're going to be they're tough. They're tough. Oh, picked off. Uh, it ain't pretty out here. If you're looking for CFM teams, boy, the Cowboys are as good as it gets because that offensive line is young. Travis Frederick at the helm of that offensive line. It's a lot of young players, and that that wide receiver core with Amari Cooper is it's tough to deal with. Good. The Cowboys are good. See, streets of MPC. He's calling for the Bears. Bears will be tough. Bears are tough. I mean, How about the duo of Roquan Smith and Khalil Mack? Defense is ridiculous. Floyd. Uh, what's that safety they got? Jackson, monster. Fuller at corner. That's how we do it, baby. Zing, 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 zing. Under the two-minute warning. All anarchy. So this was not a win and get in game. But you give yourself an opportunity with tiebreakers, and you're getting yourself a big win here. Yeah, Anarchy, I, I, here's the thing. He, he lost to Beast Mode. He started coming back into that game. Yeah, he's not someone you should take lightly at all. He, he, he is a legitimate threat to, to make a run in the tournament, for sure. I'm not saying he's the Rams. favorite. Rams are all right. Cooper I'm, Cup. I'm not, I'm not big on the Rams. In real life, I'm not big on the Rams because I don't, I don't believe in Jared Goff. 
I, once he lost his running game, which who knows what's going on with uh, old Todd Gurley's knees. Once they lost the running game, that team did not look good end of the season because they had to pass the ball a lot and they got exposed without Cooper Cup, without I feel like they're secondary to, oh, the Saints. Right. You're on a team, the Saints. Quarterback. The Saints are a sleeper team. Old quarterback, but a lot of youth around. Yeah, Cameron Jordan, Lattimore Alvin on Kamara. defense. And then, yeah, you got Kamara, you got Michael Thomas, Breeze. Saints are a good squad. Oh, good. big hit. Oh, picked off. Ooh, okay. But I, I, I think Michael Thomas might be the best wide receiver nobody talks about. Oh, he's, he's so good. People knew about Michael Thomas, though. He's I just don't hear, monster. like, you know, when people talk about top wide receivers, Michael Thomas, maybe it's because it's in New Orleans. Um, and in the past, at least, I've always had the... I've always thought of New Orleans, and it's, it's interesting how much they've changed as an offense. They used to be a team that threw it 50 times a game. But now with Alvin Kamara, they're much more balanced, and I think people maybe just sometimes forget about Michael Thomas, how good he really is on oh, offense. Gosh, he's a monster. You have to, it's cool because, you know, when I'm at EA, right, they'll bring in different defensive coaches and they'll talk to us about, you know, s certain receivers and how much of a pain they are to, 